Hey everyone, welcome back to the MTD CNC channel. I'm Megan Zimma and I'm here at the Heimer Tech Center with Brent Holden. Hello Brent, how are you doing? Good, how are you Megan? I am doing wonderful. So earlier in the year, you uh, became a 25% stakeholder in the Windtool AG and developed a strategic partnership with TCM Group. So can you talk a little bit about that partnership and what it means for manufacturers? Sure, yeah, so basically in, in an effort to develop and, and supply a tool management software, uh, we did some research and we found that there's a company, Windtool, who's a leader in the, in the market of tool management software and has been making uh, mm -hmm. software since 1980, based in Switzerland with over 29 software engineers, would be a perfect partner for us. So what we liked about it is they already had done a lot of the R&D, of course, since okay. 1980, where they had over 25 CAD CAM connections to their software. They had, uh, with the TCM group, the tool base, as we sh uh, talked about earlier, the cabinetry system. But they were able to tie a lot together that made it seamless for us to integrate our product okay. to really complete the full tool room with both the hardware that we make and then the software that they make. Gotcha. So you became a customer before a partner. We did. And that's very, very important. So any of the products that we sell, we actually use our own production. Okay. So uh, we did did implement WinTool into our own production where we have over 220 CNC machines and we were able to implement that along with the tool base and everything within four months which is re remarkably fast mm -hmm. because the implementation does take time when you're in implementing a, uh, a tool management software of anyone but we implemented ourselves and saw huge benefits when it came to uh, how we operate our own production. Now was this something in the United States before you partnered up with them or was it primarily somewhere else? No, it was actually uh, based here as well. They, okay. the, the actual uh, company's based in Switzerland and Austria, but they had a Windtool USA. Uh, we are now working with Windtool USA, so they're working with us uh, to support us in the market, both with their existing customers and any new customers that we come across. So what are some of the capabilities unique to Windtool versus other tool management software systems? Well, I think the biggest thing that's unique is <laughs> following what Heimer has always said, things have to be easy to use. Right. And that's a big advantage we have. Again, since we produce products, we know that if even of our own people are going to use it, it has to be easy to use. Mm -hmm. So I think the ease of use is the real unique function of, to, of the wind tool. And also the fact that it's got different modules that are all expandable. So you can start very slow, you okay. can expand over time. And that's what I think is a huge benefit because some people will... will maybe bite off more than they can chew, but not with Wintool. You can start slow and then implement per what your needs are on the utilization of the software. So let's dive a little bit deeper into those benefits. Now, Wintool is an open data source, correct? And then it, it's also in a module structure. So what what is the benefits of those two characteristics? Absolutely. So yeah, one, gathering the data, gathering the tooling information is very important when you're setting up tools. So Wintool has an open architecture to mm -hmm. import from machining cloud, tools tracer, all the different systems that are out there okay. uh, get directly from the manufacturers as far as their drawings if they have them available on the web. But really tool management in general has some key benefits, you know, mm -hmm. and one of them is of course tool database. That's pretty obvious where you can, you know, rather than have an Excel sheet, you have a tool database. But you mm -hmm. also have a CNC database where you can actually uh, keep all your CNC programs in one central location, the CAD CAM files, etc. Uh, you have the benefits of um, process management. Okay. So the process management is where you know throughout the shop where is the tooling, where is uh, everything that you're utilizing. So if you're programming or planning for a new job, you can coordinate that. Mm -hmm. And finally, inventory control. Because again, it can have minimal inventory, safety stocks, things like that. So you always have your tooling available when you need to do a job. Gotcha. So you just answered my next question about what sort of data information can be stored in the system. So how important then is Wintool in the digitization of CNC machining? And let me try that word again. Digitization, because I can never say it right the first time. How is it important for that? Uh, it's very important. So what it does is it creates a digital twin very simply. Okay. So the digital twin is something that uh, everyone's talking about, but sometimes it's very difficult to to implement, and mm -hmm. sometimes it takes too much time. Even in our own production, we found that if we want to create a digital twin back in the programming room or et cetera, it could be 10, 15 minutes. But here, we can create a digital twin within just, just minutes. 
So basically, for instance, if I wanted to use this drill, mm -hmm. this is a 16 millimeter drill, I can create a digital twin very, very fast. So I can add a component, so I want to make sure that, what can I hold that drill with? Well, okay, I'm going to hold this with my 16 millimeter shrink fit chuck. I select it, and sure enough, now I've already created the DXF file. That was done in this example on our tool presetter connected to the wind tool. So done right in the tool room. So we can see the shape, you get a visual uh, of where the interference is, where is the cutting zone. So again, this digital twin has just been created mm -hmm. within, within seconds, whereas opposed to like having to go back to the programming room, having to do this and that. So once it's a, uh, set, we can then send the data to the presetter and start the presetting process in this demonstration. Awesome. Do you want to walk us through that demonstration right now? Sure, sure. So all I do is here, I, I create the presetting file. I'm going to send it to the Heimer presetter. And then I get a message over on the, the presetter that the file's been sent. So now I've actually sent the data for this particular tooling assembly to the presetter, and I can start the presetting process. So to start the presetting process, I can just uh, also do this. I can search by code. So you know, remember, we talked about a unique identifier. So now I can just scan this code, and, and it's going to start the macro automatically. So now the presetter comes into position and presets this tool. Uh, so again, everything was done very seamlessly. So now it's actually measuring the tool. And after it's measured the tool, we'll get our final results. So it's taking the maximum OD of this drill. And now we have the uh, information done as far as what is my diameter and what is my length for this unique identified uh, tooling assembly. Awesome. And this is so much better when we come to digitization as per your original question, because what this presetter can also do is it can print out a label. And the label's very, very nice, and this mm -hmm. is how presetting's been done in the past. It gives you your Z dimension, your X dimension. However, at that point, it's up to you as the operator to enter that Z dimension into the machine. So you could fat finger a digit, get the wrong Z dimension and maybe crash your machine. This is all done automatically. The data can then be sent to the machine tool. It can be put on an RFID chip. It can be adhered to a label. We do have a QR code on the label where you can actually scan the label before you put the tool in the machine so you'll never have an accident. So that's another nice thing, both about presetting and utilization of software to make it very handy. Awesome. Now, Brent, we went through a lot today at the Heimer Tech Center. We saw a demo of your balancing technology. We saw a demo of your shrink, shrink fit technology. We also saw a demo of your tool management system. And now we have this. So can you connect all of the dots for us and really highlight the benefits of working with Heimer when it comes to all of the technology that we saw here today? Yeah, sure, Megan. That, and that's a good way to put it. The wind tool here in this case is really the key software element that's connecting this, what we call our i4.0 machines. Okay. Uh, it, we, it basically makes sure that each and every time, and this is always our goal, that the tooling assembly is consistent and sent to the machine tool the same every time. So what does that translate? Well, one is you're going to get the, the max productivity out of what you're trying to produce. But two, it's consistent each and every time. So if you've monitored your tool life, if you've gathered data, you know, everyone talked about I4.0, they still kind of do, but really mm -hmm. it's about gathering data and then knowing what to do with it. But the problem is if you gather data and then don't have a consistent setup each and every time, mm -hmm. you end up with, um, it works great one time, but not so good the other. So what we're avoiding and what our mission is, is in the tool room to give you the most consistent tooling assembly each and every time as it goes to the machine tool. And the wind tool, in combination with our hardware, ties this all together. So it seems like the major themes today are ease of use, seamless integration, and just basically streamlining all of your processes. That's right. Awesome. And, and making it incredibly consistent so that there's no variables throughout. Awesome. Brent, well, thank you so much for having me here at the Heimer Tech Center. I really appreciate all of these wonderful demos. Um, again, this is Megan Zimba from um, MTD CNC. I hope you enjoyed.